Hi. Now for this question then, we're given this curve here, y equals e to the power 2x minus 18x plus 15, and told that it has a minimum turning point at q. And we've got to show that the x-coordinate of q is the natural log of 3. So to do this, what I'm going to need to do is take my graph and differentiate it. That will give me the gradient then at any general point on the curve. We set that gradient to equal 0 at q and then solve the resulting equation. And hopefully that should give us x equals the natural log of 3 at this point q. OK, so that's the method. Let's just get cracking on this. So I'll put down the equation of the curve first of all. That is y equals e to the power 2x then minus 18x plus 15. And we need to differentiate this then to get the gradient at any general point on the curve. So if we differentiate with respect to x, dy dx is going to equal Differentiating e to the 2x gives us 2e to the 2x. Differentiating minus 18x is minus 18, and then the constant there is 0. So therefore, we know that at q, at q, that gradient given by dy by dx must equal 0. So therefore, what we've got is... 2e to the 2x minus 18 must equal 0. And if I rearrange this, add 18 to both sides, 2e to the 2x would equal 18. And then if I divide through by 2, I get e to the power 2x would equal 9. So if just divide this off here. Then next I would take natural logs to both sides. The natural log of e to the 2x is going to be 2x, and that's going to equal the natural log of 9. Then divide both sides by 2 to get me x. x is going to be equal to half the natural log of 9. What do I do next then to head towards the natural log of 3? Well, this half out the front... Remember your rules for logs, we can take that half up as a power. So what we've got is x equals the natural log of 9 to the power a half. But 9 to the power a half, anything to the power a half, is the square root. So that's the same as the natural log of the square root of 9. So therefore, x must be equal to natural log of 3 at q. And that's what we had to show.